Uh, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes sir, hey, today is Wednesday, November the 21st, 2018, B-Blog number 2462. Got a happy friend anniversary shout out going out to Liz Raymer in Davenport. So, happy friend anniversary. That's Facebook friend anniversary, folks. Happy Facebook friend anniversary, Liz. Been good knowing you for these past few years. Says nine, I believe. Been a while, ain't it? Happy ninth friend anniversary. All right, let's see what's going on. Don't forget to get your pictures taken with Santa Claus. He'll be coming in on the 23rd. That's right. Well, actually, he came in on November 10th. But... You can get out there and you can go see Santa Claus over at uh, Bass Pro. That's right. Get on over to Bass Pro. Get yourself all hooked up with a visit to Santa Claus. Get your free photos. That's right. Free photos with Santa Claus. How do you get it, you ask? Why well, I tell you what. You head into the Bass Pro shop and you head down there towards their Bass Pro Depot. That's right, visit the Bass Pro Ticket Depot inside the store. They'll end up getting you a Bass Pass, which is a designated time on a piece of paper. That's right, a little card gives you a designated time so that you can wait in a virtual line, no standing in line, grouped up, bumped to bumped with people in front of you and or behind you that you don't really have to listen to. You can cruise and cascade your way through the store and enjoy the visions and the sights. Or you can work your way back onto Santa's Wonderland and enjoy what's going on back there with all the different things. Free crafts, free plushed animals, write a letter to Santa claws crafts and activity tables plenty of games to play yep that's right there are games out there like the new gaming station which is um electronic games free play in the dirt that's right they've got dirt tracks to play in they've also got lincoln log building area free crayola building blocks and laser arcades foam shooting gallery and free remote control truck driving facilities so get yourself on over to Bass Pro and enjoy yourself with your free photo. Once your time has come up on your Bass Pass, why, you can just come right on over and sit right down on Santa's lap and get you a free 4x6 studio quality photo right there in the store. That's right, right there in the store. Those passes go quickly, my friends, so you might want to get them as soon as possible. As soon as you get in, get up there today after Thanksgiving, after your belly is all full and you've got all that pumpkin pie put away, why, it's time to head over to Santa's workshop and take a sit down on Santa's Wonderland. Sit down on the lap. Uh, let's see, time schedule for Thursday would be, it's a weekday, so it would be 5 to 8 p.m. That's right, free photos with Santa from 5 to 8 p.m. And free crafts from 5 to 7 p.m. And they're open to close with the free games and activities. Now Saturdays, they're open at 10 a.m. And they run to 8 p.m. for your free photos with Santa Claus. You got your free crafts from noon to 5 p.m. And your free games and activities are open to close. Sundays, noon to 5 p.m. And free crafts, noon to 5 p.m. And they're open to close with the free games and activities. So just make sure you get yourself on in to Bass Pro and enjoy a free photo with Santa. Now you can get a special purchase package uh, of the, uh, well, I guess that deal is over. They was having a, uh, they were having a special, but that that deal must be gone by now. So that's right. Anyway, Monday through Thursday only, five to seven p.m. November twelfth through December twenty fourth, um, you're going to be able to pick up a free mouse. The nineteenth through the twenty second, that is, and after the twenty second. They're going to change it to a different plush animal. So don't forget to stop in each week and see if you can't pick up a plush animal for your kitty or child. 
All right, now how about what's going on in St. Charles down on Main Street? That's like, that's right. How about candlelight reading from Twas the Night Before Christmas or A Visit from St. Nicholas? Yes, that's right. November 23rd, 2018 through December 21st, 2018. Recurring weekly on Wednesdays and Fridays from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. They're going to be a reading of a visit from St. Nicholas and at the first Missouri State Capitol site, historic site. That's at 200 South Main Street in St. Charles, Missouri. That's right. As part of the first St. Charles Christmas, of the St. Charles Christmas Traditions Festival activities, on Wednesdays and Friday evenings, you can enjoy the special reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas by author Clement Clark Moore, with musical accompaniment in the historic Chauncey Shepherd residence at the historic site. Readings will happen every 15 minutes. The event is free and seating is limited. So, come on by and enjoy the story. This story is, well, let's see. Should have done this first. Opening day for the uh, Christmas traditions. That's right. November 23rd, 2018 at 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Located where? In Frontier Park, I said. And it's 500 South Riverside Drive, that means it's located at the Chady Depot. That's right, the depot. You can follow with Santa Claus as he, uh, the 2018 season begins at 11 a.m. with the arrival of Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus by horse-drawn carriage, escorted by the Lewis and Clark Fife and Drum Corps, and all of your favorite legends of Christmas. Watch as they hang the ceremonial last piece of greenery, marking the official start to the holiday season. Stay for the day and take in all the sights and sounds of Christmas. All right. Now, I had mentioned that they're going to be doing the candlelight reading of um, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and I thought I would give you just a little bit of a preview not that I'm going to be the one reading it there, but I am going to read it for you here. Give me just a second to get a little wet of the whistle. Too hard to read when you're dry as a thistle. Here we go. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer? With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his course they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that day at before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the course they did fly. With, when they met with an obstacle, the course they did fly. With the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too, and then in a twinkle I heard on the roof 
the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I had to laugh when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And lying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprung with his, to his sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. There you go. Twas the night before Christmas. Bye. Clement Clark Moore All right. Um somebody said they really liked uh, Alabama. Actually it was my mom, but uh I'm going to sing a few songs here. Um kicking them out. So, here's some Alabama for you. Uh, let's see. How about this? Once I thought love as a prison, a place I didn't want to be. So long ago I made the decision to be footloose and fancy free. But you came and I was so tempted to gamble on love just one time. I never thought that I would get caught. It seemed like the perfect crime. Baby, you left me defenseless. But I've only got one plea. Lock away inside, lock me away inside your love. And throw away the key. Cause I'm guilty of love in the first degree. I thought it would be so simple. Like a thousand times before, I'd take what I wanted and just walk away. But I never made it to the door. Now, baby, I'm not bragging for, begging for mercy. Go ahead and throw the book at me. If love's your crime, yours a crime, I know that I'm as guilty as a man can be. Baby, you left me defenseless, but I. Only got one plea, lock me away inside your love, and throw away the key, cause I'm guilty of love in the first degree, love in the first degree, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby you left me defenseless, but I've only got one plea. Lock me away inside your love and throw away the key because I'm guilty of love in the first degree. Love in the first degree. Love in the first degree. All right. This is a this is another one. Hmm. All right, here we go. 
think I'll dedicate this one to Joe V. Jane, a uh, Facebook friend I had a very pleasant conversation with today, uh, texting back and forth. But um, this ain't jumping overboard. This is just one of those songs that I like to sing. And, well, we'll just try this one. Whisper to me softly. Breathe words upon my skin. No one's near and listening. So please don't say goodbye. Just hold me close and love me. Press your lips to mine. Mm -hmm. Feel so right. Feel so right. Lying here beside you, I hear the echoes of your sigh. Promise me you'll stay with me and keep me warm tonight. So hold me close and love me. Give my heart a smile. Ooh, feel so right. Feel so right. Your body feels so gentle. My passion rises high. You're loving me so easy. Your wish is my command. Just hold me close and love me. Tell me it won't end. Mm -hmm. Feel so right. Feel so right. Feel so right. Oh, I feel so right, baby. I said, whisper to me softly. Breathe words upon my skin. No one's near and listening. So please don't say goodbye. Just hold me close and love me. Press your lips to mine. Ooh, feel so right, feel so right. Lying here beside you, I hear the echoes of your sighs. Promise me you'll stay with me and keep me warm tonight. So hold me close and love me. Give my heart a smile. Ooh, feel so right, feel so right. Your body feels so gentle, and my passion rises high. Your loving me so easy, your wish is my command. Just hold me close and love me, tell me you won't end. Ooh, it feels so right, feels so right, feels so right. Oh, you feel so right, baby. All right, all right. One more Alabama. Oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. I just killed that one and stuck with this one. Where'd it go? Doo -doo -doo. All right, here we go. Why, lady, why can't I leave you alone? I try, lady, try, but the feeling's too strong. You stay on my mind, feel just like a fool. Why, lady, why can I get over you? Why, lady, why? It was easy before, 
I try, lady, try. Ah, but it ain't easy no more to be on my way. Would be the best thing to do. Why, lady, why can't I get over you? Why, lady, why can't I leave you alone? I try, lady, try, but feelings too strong to be on my way would be the best thing to do. Why, lady, why can't I get over you? Why, lady, why can't I get over you? All right, my friends, looks like it's just about that time for our daily bread. So, let's go with that. We'll get on into the daily bread. I don't think there's another one. And, well, there is. I do this one a lot, too, but I like it. So I am going to do it again. I'm doing the, uh, uh, their whatchamacallit, the ballad songs today, today, whatever, ugh, hold on, trying to get a hold of that straw, get back over here, <clears throat> all right, let's try that, does that voice feel better, all right, here we go, drinking was forbidden, in my Christian country home, I learned to play the flat top on them good old gospel songs. Then I heard about the bar rooms just across Georgia line, where a boy could make a living playing guitar late at night. Had to learn about the ladies too young to understand why the young girls fall in love. With the boys in the band, when the boys turn to the music, the girls just turn away to some other guitar picker in some other late night place. Yeah, I held on to my music. I let the ladies walk away, took my songs and dreams to Nashville. Then I moved on up to L.A., up to New York City. All across the USA, I lost so much of me, but then there's enough of me to say that my home's in Alabama. No matter where I lay my head, my home's in Alabama. Southern born and southern bred. What keeps me going? I don't really know. Can't be the money. Lord knows it's I'm always broke. Could it be the satisfaction or being none of being understood when the people really love you and they let you know when it's good? Oh, I'll speak my southern English just as natural as I please. I'm in the heart of Dixie. Dixie's in the heart of me. And someday when I make it, when love finds a way, somewhere high on Lookout Mountain, I'll just smile with pride and say that my home's in Alabama. No matter where I lay my head, my home's in Alabama. Southern born and southern bred. Southern born and southern bred. Southern born and southern bred, and my home's in Alabama. 
No matter where I lay my head, my home's in Alabama, southern born and southern bred. Southern born and southern bred. Southern born and southern bred. All right, now let's do it. Time for the daily bread. Today's devotion is called A Hidden Ministry. Yes, that's right. There's hidden ministries all throughout the Bible. And well, I tell you what, you've got to keep yourself on the lookout. You've got to find the correct corresponding ministry. And you want to look and search and find the one that's best suited for you in, in the Bible. And you want to be in a God-fearing, graceful Christian church, if at all possible. If you want to uh, find you a Christian church, you just go right ahead and do so. But you should probably uh, just say a simple prayer that says that you believe that Jesus gave his life for us on the cross at Calvary. And he died so that his blood could be shed for our souls. So that we would have a chance to get to heaven through him and if you believe that and that he died and rose to heaven then I suggest you go ahead and find you a church so that you can be in tune with God our Father up above now I'm going to be reading 2 Corinthians 1 8 through 11 and if you're keeping in time with your Bible in a year if you're keeping up with your Bible in a year, I hope you are. You'll be reading Ezekiel 16 through 17 and James 3. So, here we go. 2 Corinthians 1, 8 through 11. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the troubles we experienced in the province of Asia. We were under great pressures far about... Yeah, far beyond our abilities to endure, so that we despaired of it, life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us as you hope, as you help us by your prayers. Then many will give thanks on our behalves for the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. There you have it, Second Corinthians 1, 8 through 11. All righty then, that concludes the program for the day. Uh, I'm so glad you tuned in. And so here we go. I'm going to sing you one more, and it'll go something like this. Well, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too. <laughs>